Hello everyone. I am Professor Anish Vora and I welcome you all in this video lecture. In this video lecture, we will see about the PN junction diode and its VI characteristic. Let us understand how PN junction diode is constructed. At one end of the rod of intrinsic semiconductor. Intrinsic semiconductor we know that it is a pure semiconductor without any impurity. So at one end of the rod of intrinsic semiconductor the acceptor type impurity is added. P type semiconductor is formed. At the other end, donor type impurity is added, N type semiconductor is formed. So on the same rod of intrinsic semiconductor, on different end, we add different impurities and at the one end, P type of semiconductor is formed and on the other end, N type of semiconductor is formed. When there is a p-type semiconductor at one end and n-type semiconductor near to it at the other end, then it is called the p-n junction diode. One terminal is brought out of the p-type and it is called anode. p-n junction diode has two terminal, so one of the terminal is non as an anode and that is taken out from the P type of semiconductor. One terminal is brought out of the N type and it is called cathode. Now let us see the symbol of PN junction diode. One terminal is known as anode. Another terminal is known as cathode. So this is symbol for the PN junction diode. We have P type of semiconductor at the one end and we have adjoining N type of semiconductor at the other end and then it is known as a PN junction diode. The junction is common that is a PN junction. One terminal is brought out from the P type of semiconductor and that is known as anode and same way one terminal is brought out from the N type of semiconductor and that is known as cathode. Now depends upon the applied voltage, PN junction diode have two different biasing. One is forward biased and one is reverse biased. Now let us see what exactly we mean by forward biasing. To PN junction diode, we are applying DC voltage through a battery. Anode is made more positive compared to cathode. Here we can see that at P type of terminal that is anode is given more positive voltage through the battery and cathode is given a negative voltage and this condition is known as a forward biased characteristic and the diode is known as a forward biased. Same way we have a reverse biased. To same PN junction diode, the terminal of battery now it is reversed. Anode is made more negative compared to cathode and the characteristic is known as a reverse biased characteristic and diode is known to be reverse biased. Here we can see that anode is given negative voltage and cathode is given positive voltage. So it is known as a reverse biasing of the PN junction diode. Now we are interested in uh, understanding the VI characteristic of the PN junction diode. 
the relationship between applied voltage V and current I passing through is known as a VI characteristic. Now let us see the VI characteristic of the PN junction diode. On the X axis we are applying voltage and on the Y axis we are having current. On the first quadrant we apply forward voltage so we have forward current and on the third quadrant we have a reverse voltage application and then we have a reverse current. So VI characteristic will be in first as well as in the third quadrant. First we will apply forward voltage so we will have a voltage and current characteristic in the first quadrant then we will apply a reverse voltage and then we will see the reverse voltage and current characteristic in the third quadrant. So first we apply forward voltage. If voltage is less than knee level voltage, there will be a very slight current passing through the diode because the junction, PN junction has a potential barrier and for silicon it is 0.7 volt and for germanium it is 0.3 volt. So unless and until this potential barrier of the junction is overcome, the current passing through the PN junction diode is very less. So let us understand the knee voltage. The forward voltage at which the current through the forward bias diode start to increase rapidly is known as a knee voltage. So after knee level voltage if we apply forward voltage then current start increasing rapidly. Forward current is quite more compared to application of forward voltage. So it is a non-linear characteristic. It does not obey the Ohm's law. Same way when we apply voltage in the reverse condition in the third quadrant current in microampere. So current is very less and that is independent to the application of the voltage. It is dependent on the temperature. So very less current in microampere start following in the PN junction diode at the application of reverse voltage. So let us understand what exactly we mean by breakdown voltage. The reverse voltage at which the junction breaks down and the result in sudden increase in reverse current is known as a breakdown voltage. So after application of reverse voltage till it reach to breakdown level, the junction breaks and a very high current passing through the PN junction diode. Only the limiting value for the current that is current limiting resistance connected in series with the PN junction diode. But in most of the cases after breakdown voltage when current drastically increase it will damage the junction and PN junction diode will be damaged. Now let us see the application of the PN junction diode. Mostly we use the diode as a rectifier or as a switch. In clipping circuit we use a PN junction diode as well as in clamping circuit also we use for protection of transistor, SCR or op-amp we use a PN junction diode. As a detector in AM radio receiver we also use a PN junction diode. The applications are very high for PN junction diode. This is just a few applications we have mentioned. Thank you for watching my video. Keep watching. Thank you very much.